Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today's an exciting day for me. I'm kicking off something new. It's something that I've been working on for some time. You can call it um, a challenge or a creative opportunity. However you want to approach it is fine. But what it's called is Perennial Pages. So like I said, this is an idea that I've been kicking around for a long time. It's something that I actually started creating to do with my mother. So I wanted something that I could give her, something that she could be creative with, um, but also something that she could use to write down her memories and, uh, you know, the things that she has and that I want to know and I want to be able to keep and look back at. So as I started working on it, I started realizing it was just a wonderful tool. And so I decided to make it open to everybody so that you can also um, participate in it and benefit it and benefit from it as well. So what is it? It's a fresh opportunity every week to be creative. So you're going to be creating one page and it's based on one theme and the theme is a perennial theme. Okay, so what the heck is a perennial theme? A perennial theme is an event or a day of recognition. So something that occurs every year. So like a rose, it's a day that comes like again. Um, like Christmas or your birthday or the day that the man that man landed on the moon. So these are all days that appear and keep re reoccurring on our calendar, right? So you can like celebrate them or you can note them or notice them, but whatever. But there there's something that's reliable and something that you look back at and you know there's a there's a there's a, a day actually connected up with it. There's there's something. There's something on a calendar, something reoccurring. So there's, there's something really special and I think magical about that. For us, what we're going to be doing, there'll be a fresh opportunity to recognize your memories and your feelings and your thoughts and emotions and inspirations or anything connected with that day. The day I'm kicking all this off is, is National Postal Workers Day. It happens every year. You may have not realized this on July 1st. It's within the first week of the first week of July. It's, in, it's on the first day of the first week of July, right? That's our perennial theme that I'm inviting you to consider this week. Um, but my invitation, so this is like opening up a door to a garden center. It's like inviting you to consider the roses, right? And you get to select which one. It's it's not it's not it's not about postal workers day. It's about it's about looking at a little further and a little deeper. Like a rose. Okay, let's let's use the rose theme. There's countless um, varieties of, ro of roses, right? You have the different colors, you have different um, different types of roses, whether you want it to be on a vine or want it to be bushy. You know, there, there's lots of different options for roses. A rose isn't the same. They have different fragrances. And so when I say Postal Workers Day, it's not about Postal Workers Day necessarily. I mean, there's just lots of different options and ideas that that can inspire you to think about, okay? So it's broad and it's not necessarily Postal Workers. It means um, it's I'm merely a spark of the imagination to get your wheels turning. So what thoughts and memories do you have? For example, when I think of Postal Workers Day, some of the thoughts that come to my mind is, is letter writing. Are you a letter writer? Do you love stamps? Have you ever had a pen pal? Maybe do you remember writing letters and now you only send emails or text messages? I mean, that's that's something about you and that's that's an important memory and experience, right? Or as a little girl, did you live on a farm and you only got the bill once a week because you could only get it when you went into town? I mean, what a cool, cool memory that is, right? It could even be, though, that maybe your dad was a postman or your mom was a poster worker, and so you actually really want to talk about Poster Workers Day and about postal people, and that is great, too. Whatever it is for you is the thing that it is for you, and that's what you're going to take that's your rose, and that's how you're going to develop your page. That, that's what you're going to use to capture your stories. Now, to further inspire you, I'm a visual person, okay? So, a written theme is really wonderful. I like that, but, but I want to give you more, particularly if you're a visual person like me. So, to further inspire you, 
what I'm going to do is have a, some kind of a digital image available for you. Now, this is a big one. It takes a whole page. When I started pondering the whole postal theme, right, this is kind of where it took me. This is an old vintage post postal box. So every week I'll have some kind of a digital thing, something like this, for example, or maybe, you know, whatever. There'll be something to help to help inspire you to just get your wheels turning and thinking about what it is that you want to do on that page. Also throughout the week, then I'll, what I'll be doing is providing other things, making things like um, this week I'll also be making envelopes, different envelopes that we can create. I, I think about that when I think about postal, right? Also stamps, we'll be making um, dis different postal stamps using our tools. Um, so, so what I'm saying is there's lots of opportunities. It's a great tool to just spark the imagination. It's something that you can dive in and dive out of whenever you want. If you don't get one week done, no worries because there's going to be the next week, right? You can just pick up and go from there. So whatever you do, you have a week to ponder it and a week to create your perennial page. We have a perennial theme. It creates a, peren a perennial page. But what makes a perennial page? So, so first, because it's a reoccurring theme, you can glance at it in, in, in a year and you revisit the memory, like f for your birthday, right? Obviously, that's a really easy one. It comes every year, and every year you can celebrate and you recognize this incredible day that, that you were born. So these days are reoccurring on the calendar, so it's a, it's a peren perennial page. You can go back and you can look at it that same time the following year if you so choose to. You can put a t date on yours and connect it up with the date, or you can just use it to connect your theme. So however you want to do it. But the important part is the second part. It's perennial because it's meant to not fade away to be, but to be cherished and enjoyed either by you or your loved ones for seasons, for seasons to come, years down the way, years yet to come. So it's to give answers to questions that maybe haven't been asked yet. Um, it's, it's to touch a generation that may not have even heard your voice. So each page is a story of you. So it's going to be like a living garden, if you will. So, so I hope you join me in making these perennial pages. I think it's just going to be such a joy. So it's a journal, but it's different than a normal journal. Just like there's certain types of gardens. You'll have a rose garden. You might have a lilac garden. We have a Japanese garden in our city. So there's different gardens. This one's a perennial garden. It's not a general garden. It's a perennial garden where we're going to put things about you, things that we don't want to fade, and things that we want to keep and be revisited. So go ahead. If you want to join me, make sure you're one of my subscribers. And go ahead and hit the... Um, the bell if you want to hear from the updates of when things are coming up. Right now, this is the one I'm going to be working on. You're going to want to get this off my Facebook page. If you'd like to, you certainly don't have to use this all. You can do it however you want and pull whatever mail things out that you want. This is what I'm going to be doing, though. If you'd like to do it, head on over to my Facebook page. You can grab that. Hit the bell because then you can find out when I'm actually making it. I'll be having this video up soon. So, so I look forward to doing this journey with you. I look forward to creating perennial pages, and I hope you guys all have a fabulous day. See you next time.